Hi, so I want to compare and contrast a few .NET obfuscators here. So the one I'm going to compare and contrast is Confuser X, which is free, mainly because it also has the code encryption, whereas these other free ones do not. And the commercial one, which is a Xeris .NET Reactor, which also has code encryption. So code encryption is a must-have feature when you're looking for .NET obfuscators, and I'll demonstrate each one of these. So I have here the code that I am obfuscating. So you'll see I have some strings and a known control flow here to encrypt and decrypt a string using these particular keys. And I have used this UI here from Confuser X, which uh, obfuscated the code in multiple settings. So the settings that it has is normal, aggressive, and maximum. So let me show you some of the basic settings. And you'll see it has none, minimum, normal, aggressive, maximum. So I'll be demonstrating normal and maximum here, as well as the Azeris.NET Reactor, which I've selected these few features, and I've actually ran it through the obfuscator. And I've placed it in this Telerik.net uh, decompiler. So let me show you the original when I don't obfuscate it. It looks basically like the original code. So there, there's some differences in the variable names. But overall, this is exactly the same code that I myself wrote um, here. So that's the original that is decompiled, which is uh, what a lot of code out there you'll see distributed commercially that you could simply decompile and read all their code like this because they don't obfuscate the code. And I ran it through here. This is the normal version of Confuser X, which is the free version here. And if I go to that same class, you'll see the strings are non-existent. And you'll see even the control flow itself is non-existent. And if I go to the maximum using Confuser FX or EX, Confuser EX, you see it can't even read the DLL. So this is maximum, which is anti-decompilation or anti-IL disassembly, anti-ildasm. And this is from a Xeris.net reactor. And this code also looks nothing like the original. So you, you could see here that um, you know the products themselves work in similar ways. Now the advantage of the .NET reactor is it, it also has uh, certain features of expiring DLLs and creating license files, something that the free Confuser X version doesn't have. Um, but overall, the purpose that I was looking for was all of these things, uh, tampered defense, anti-decompiler, string encryption, control flow obfuscation, method call redirection, and uh, compression, code encryption, especially code encryption. So Confuser FX has many of these features, as does the Azeris, and at reasonable prices. So it is worth trying Confuser X, uh, especially when it's free. And I would actually recommend this as overall as the best value and actually uh, does the job in basically what you're trying to do because as far as assembly, the assembly is concerned, if someone actually wanted to decompile your code, they, they can decompile it. Um, but this is, you know, basically a very uh, strong way of uh, preventing that. So, and, and it fear comes fairly cheap as far as uh, the effort and the uh, money that goes into actually doing it. So, um, there you go. That, in my estimation is the probably the best one that I've run across uh, mainly because it's free uh, unfortunately so um, and it also has these core features especially the code encryption so 
All right, there you go. I uh, hope this helps and thank you for watching.